Hello, welcome back to Venus Sushi Live Learning. In this episode, we're gonna look at um, animation nodes uh, spiral. So, does animation nodes have a way to generate spiral? Um, it's kind of does, uh, but it's kind of hidden. It's under matrix distribute matrices. So, we have grid, we have linear, circle, mesh, spiral. I almost never used this one until the other day. So this guy have matrices and we can decompose matrices to get the translate rotate scale as usual, but we can also use them just the matrices. So whichever you use doesn't matter. So let's save this as an spiral. And you can use this actually to generate splines that create spiral. I haven't I have not tried that, but uh let's try this first object matrix output and object transform output. So transform is seems like simpler but matrix can do a lot more. So okay these two are good. We just need to provide the objects now. The objects should be the instancer. And what's the easiest instancer we can get? Maybe just one monkey head. Get the monkey head. So we have a number of matrices here. Just plug it into object instance and plug this into the object. And you can also, you can either choose the matrices, uh, the, the matrices, yeah, yeah. So you get all these rotations as well. You, you can see the Susan head, while the other one, the other one is simply position it without changing the rotations. So that's with uh, all the rotations zero. That's with the rotations from the matrix. So for this, actually we don't need this. Simply use this guy right here. It's supposed to update. Oh, it's already. Okay, cool. Let's now test the, the spiral itself. We have 100 points, starting radius and radius. I think the AN spiral is very, very pretty. It's the perfect spiral. Um, I'll just add a randomness so it looks nicer. So star size, end size, that's actually affecting the scale. So that's pretty cool. You can see here it's it looks like a centipede. It's kind of nice, like like that also. And you can kind of wind it, unwind it. This one. Add rotation I think so you can control start angle and end angle but you wonder what if you want to kind of offset it up or down how how are you gonna go about doing that you can use uh, offset matrices I think in this case and simply translate it up but with a bit of fall off delay. Um, let me try that actually with the delay fall off and give it a frame. Wonder if this just work. It, it, it is working so That's also kind of nice in itself. And if you ever want to rotate the matrices, I think you can also use uh, matrices math. So matrix math. This might work. So you can rotate the monkey head like that, like that, like that. So that it's really nice. It's got a lot of a lot of nice thing. 
you can control so I'm just I'm just gonna leave this to 0 0 0 scale 1 1 1 so that's uh, just another layer of things you can add so this is the vertical motion what if you want the whole thing to be uh, you know instead of everything happening like this maybe you can use um, different kind of delay constant constant fall off the strings can be maybe multiple value let me try random random number okay it doesn't work like that so in this case I'm curious maybe the translation itself can have uh, you know like range of value combine vector combine vector and we want to move it in the z-axis so something like that but uh, give the right amount so we have like a proper spiral so we have I think 100 Susan 100 so just plug that in so 100 we want it to be here data input the amount 100 should match this amount so we can now control the number of Suzanne and this is the stepping so now we have a really nice setup of spiral for any objects not just Suzanne head you can easily replace it with anything over here so I didn't give it color or anything I think we can also rotate it this way you know like the start angle and the end angle if it's moving together it's kind of nice too so it's pretty cool I think a lot of control this one can be controlled from here or just with the delay yep yeah. it's really nice it's a um, procedural animations or any kind of motion being controlled with a value has never been easier I think this is like a really really good example so yeah um, what else can we add here we can maybe add noise or something so making them kind of in motion all the time maybe it's it, we can do it from here like matrix math and whatever maybe add noise to the translations but yeah a lot of possibilities um, I think spline we have spline from point so if I go back to decompose matrices from here and just get the translation put the translation into the points you can get a spline output out spline object oops object spline mm, spline object output yeah this one slightly tricky there you go that's your spiral it's a spline so spline 3d you can control the bevel depth there you go pretty simple it's still it has the I think it's not a smooth one. Oh, because this spline probably it's like a separate parts yeah so probably for this I will be using sphere chalk but uh, you can do this using animation nodes if you like But I'm pretty happy with this monkey head so if you like this uh, let me know 
um, this instance is not under collection maybe it's the cl it's cleaner at some point I think animation knows developer will put this under uh, the collections so it's not uh, it's cleaner like this so anyhow that's a uh, spiral and monkey heads and animation nodes thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye